This is Danny Grimaldi. We're watching Comedy Matters TV. Would you please subscribe? It's a great show. And Jeffrey is a terrific comedian and writer and just a historian of all, all things that are comic in New York. Hi. How are you, man? Great to see you. Wow. So nice. Good. Let's talk for a minute. Come here. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Come here. I'm here with my buddy, Danny Grimaldi. How are you, Dan? I'm, I'm terrific. I'm wow. terrific. How are you, Jeff? I'm great. Oh, great. I'm great. It's good Just to see you. You look wonderful. And you too. You get always. younger every day. <laughs> Say that into the camera. He gets younger every day. He's on top of comedy. There's nobody in New York that knows comedy better than Jeffrey. Oh, thank you, Dan. That's so kind of you. Wow. We're both friars. We're both friars. Yes. Right? And we're old friends, yes, man. Terrific from the, friends. You know, from the days of six Goombas and a wannabe. Six Goombas and a wannabe. 2001, one of the great plays off-Broadway plays in New York. And I was the wannabe. He was, he was the wannabe. It was six Italians and a Jew, and Jeff was the wannabe. I was one of the Italians. <laughs> we tried me being one of the Italians, but it worked better with me being the Jew. Right? That's funny that how Terrific. it worked out that oh, way. Oh, yeah, wonderful. And then you played a double part on The Sopranos. Yes. You, were, you were your own brother. I was Patsy and Philly Parisi. I was twins. Great time, great show. One of the, one of the well, the best show in TV history. Yeah. I think so, for sure. David Chase was a genius created a great show and and it was uh, what a run I just wish it would have lasted another five ten years because it could have it definitely could have well I think I think the standards were high and 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 we kept them high and that and it was time to leave well, yeah, it's good to go out on top. That's right, and I think right. that's what David wanted to do. But the way people talk about The Godfather as being the greatest movie ever made, I think The Sopranos was probably the greatest, the greatest TV, TV show. show. You know, we're in the Hall of Fame. We're, really? We, you know, yeah. yeah. We're just. Uh, it was a great show. The writing was incredible. The writers were wonderful. I mean, the evidence of how good the writers are is Matt Weiner's on Mad Men. Uh, oh, Terry Winters doing uh, Broadwalk, Empire, uh, Broadwalk, Broadwalk Empire. Empire yeah. uh, Robin and Mitch. Robin Green and Mitch. Uh, Mitch. Uh, uh, Mitch, I forget Mitch's last name, that's terrible. Robin and Mitch did Blue Bloods. So we have three Soprano writers who have created three wonderful television shows. But The Sopranos was the greatest of all. It's the Absolutely. godfather of, the all, godfather TV of all TV movies. It is, sure. it really is. Sure. And how did you happen to wind up here tonight? Do you have a connection to Antonio, diabetes? Antonio Coppola is a dear friend of mine and he, he's he's uh, he's a, one of the vice presidents of the Diabetes the Association. And uh, of course it's dear to my heart we all have family members. I had my mother and my my aunt and my uncle had diabetes. Yeah, and I lost my dad to diabetes. It's a terrible. And and you know I used to do I used to do juvenile diabetes with Lee Mazzilli oh, back really? in the oh, yeah. day, back in this you know the 80s and 90s. So uh, I, I it's a disease that affects children as well as it affects adults. So uh, anything I can do to help, you know, it, uh, it makes me feel good. That's so nice. Well, it was so great to see oh, you as yeah. always. <laughs> as always. <laughs> See, I turned you away from the camera. You see? No, that's good.